Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video we're going to be starting using Discord.js. So Discord.js is a Node.js module that allows you to interact with the Discord API very easily and create bots and other features in your Discord servers. So let's get started. So first thing you're going to need to do is install Node.js. You can just head to the Node.js website to install it. And to check to see if you have it properly installed, just say npm version within your terminal. And it should tell you the version of npm you have, and that'll tell you that you have it properly installed. And now we need to actually install um, discord.js. So we can say npm install discord.js. All right, now that it's installed, we need to initialize our project. So let's say npm init. And this will just create the package.json file that we'll be using to use our project. So package name, you can name that whatever you want. Version 1.0. Description, a discord.js bot. Entry point will be index.js, so I'll have to create that file test command you can have something if you want git repository none keywords none author steam code license and that's okay so now as you can see it created package lock.json and package.json so now let's create index.js okay so before we get started writing anything, let's first create the application in Discord so that we're actually able to use the bot. So in order to start creating your bot, you'll need to navigate to discord.com slash developers slash applications, and then click on new application. And then you can name your application. So let's just call this, well, I'm going to delete this. So I'll call this ABC. You can call it whatever you want. And then you can put a app icon, descriptor, and then let's go to the actual bot section. So now into bot, you can add a bot. Well, it says too many users have this username. So let's create it again. Let's call this Steam Code Test Bot. Okay. Now let's go to the bot section, add a bot. And now you can add an icon, you can change the username, and you have this thing called a token. So you never want to share your token with anyone else, either um, on purpose or on accident because with this token you can control all the aspects of your bot and if this bot has been added to multiple servers it can disrupt the flow and it could destroy your bot as well so you want to copy this token you can reveal it to yourself and copy it and then set the permissions for your bot so for my bot everything's set to administrator and then that's all you really need to do so now that you have that down what you're going to need to do is invite it to your server. So I have my server here, Steam Code Bot Tester, and I already have my bot added to the server. But in order to add yours, you're going to need to follow this link. And this link is in the description. So what you're going to want to do is copy this link, but then replace the sequence of numbers after client ID with your bot ID. So to demonstrate, you would need to get your application ID for the bot that you have. So the application ID is under general information. Copy it. Then just paste it right after where it says client ID. And if you press enter, it'll allow you to select the server you want to add it to and then authorize it. Once you've done that, it's been added to your server. All right. 
So that we have the bot actually added to our server, let's get to the coding part and let's start making it do some basic things. So in your index.js file, we're going to write a few lines of code. So constant discord equals require discord.js. This just allows us to use the discord.js module. Then constant client equals new discord dot client this is the client for our discord.js app and constant config equals require config.js so I'll explain what the config is in just a in just a few seconds but before we get started with that let's just write the rest of this code so client so we can say client dot once ready then what it's going to do is console dot log ready And then we need to actually log into our um, Discord bot. So we can say client dot login config dot token. So what is this config file? So I have my config file config.json. I created that before the video began. And so you want to create your own config.json. I'm not going to show it to you because it has my um, my bot token inside of it. But I'll create a new one just to demonstrate how yours should be formulated. So we can call this config1.json. And the way mine is formulated is you have curly brackets. Then you have the prefix for your bot. So the prefix for your bot is just going to be the prefix that's going to use that's going to be used to call your bot. So it can be a sequence of characters, it can be a tilde, it can be an exclamation point, it can be any character you want to define what your bot is. Um, or to define the commands that your bot is going to be using. So I have that set to an exclamation point. And then I have my token. And my token is what it is. Just paste your token right there. And that's really all you need within your config file. So now that we have that set up, we can see what this reads. So with our config.token, we're able to log into our client using the information that's stored within config.json. And this config.json is very important because it allows you to hard code information in one file that you won't need to re-put or, or replace in multiple different files. So now let's actually put this online. So we can say node index.js and then enter there's one problem config.json not config.js okay let's try that again node index.js and as you can see it logs to the console the phrase ready and as that happened as you can see the bot came online all right so this has just been a simple um, setting up in future videos we're going to be adding commands adding different roles and adding more functionality to our bot but this has just been a simple introduction I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below this has been steam code I'll see you next time